Hello everyone, I'm Jamal and this is my second tutorial for Pascal. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to, to use different kinds of variables. So first, when I open Dev Pascal, create a new source file, and then delete all of this at last time, and write program, and we'll write examples, or example, it doesn't really matter what you put here. And under this, we can write var. Whatever we put in here is going to be our different variables. So our first two variables are going to be num, comma, num1. And these are going to be, these are going to be integers. So we can write integer semicolon. The next this, we're going to write some notes so we can remember. So we write full slash twice, and see it turns blue or purpley. I'm going to write an integer. The integer is a whole number. Then under this, I'm going to start the main program. I'm going to write begin. And now I'm going to set what integers are. So I'm going to press tab. And write num colon equals 2. Semicolon. Then under this, we write num one colon equals three. Semicolon. And what colon equals means is num whatever you, your variable is. So num or num one is or becomes three. So it's like a constant. So it's always going to be two or three, or depending on what variable you set as what. Then under this, we're going to write write lm, so we're going to write a line, and this line is just going to display the calculation of these two. So we're going to write num plus num1. So this is going to do 2 slash 3. I'm going to close this, semicolon, and then these, so the user can read it, we're going to write read lm, semicolon. I'm going to end the main program, so we're going to write end. Full stop. I'm going to compile this and call this. Remember, we've been saving the Pascal folder. I'm going to write variable example save. If you carry on compiling now, execute this. There you go, you've got five. So next, we're going to press enter to get rid of that window. Continue and then this right under this we're going to do enter twice and go back to our variables and write num three or num two comma num three and these are going to be reals so real semicolon and we do space until we get underneath the note we did before I'm going to write two four slashes. And write a real is a decimal number. And what this means is it could be something like 0.2. So we could write e dot g 0.2. Just so you can remember this, yeah. And then we're going to set these variables. So we could write num two colon equals two. Let move this down there. So we could do 2.2 semicolon, then, and then if we write num3, colon equals 3.3. And we're just going to do addition with these again. So the answer should be 5.5. We will get right line. Open the brackets and write num2. Why do I keep talking about Num2 plus num3. Close the bracket, semicolon. I'm going to do a read line again. But we can make this a little bit more user friendly. So we're going to do, under the right line we did, we're going to write another line. Write ln apostrophe 
because we want to want it to display something. So we write press enter to continue. Apostrophe. Close the brackets. Semicolon. The capital letter. Now we can compile this one. Just execute. So you've got five like before. I'm going to press enter. It's going to show the next calculation. So you see it's displayed like this. And to make it so it displays as just a normal decimal number, we're going to write. We're going to press enter to continue to close this window. And write, we want it to display as colon 2, colon 3. Try this. Compile it again. Right, execute. You have five like before. Let's enter. You go, you've got 5.500. This the three just means it have three after. But if you, if you just wanted to have one after, you could put press enter. Put 5.1 or 2 comma 1. This just means it's going to do the calculation, display it by two different numbers, I think, and one decimal place. Let's just copy and paste this, press enter to continue. I'm going to put this under the first calculation. So I'm going to write control V, control C, control V. So I'm going to click the green tick, compile again, I'm going to execute it. Yeah, 5, and press enter. There you go, you've got 5.5. And you press enter to continue. Close the window and continue. And then we're going to write the next set of variables. So we're going to do enter twice. And the next variable we're going to use is going to be char. So we could do first, comma, second. And these are going to be char. Semicolon. I'm going to do notes again. And the char is just a single character. So char, short character. So now we're going to set these variables. Alright. First. Colon equals I have to do two apostrophes because it's a uh, text and not numbers. So first equals A. Then we need semicolon to end this. And second and second equals equals two apostrophes again and this side we're gonna put B and the semicolon to end this and the twice again and right and then and then the sign we want it to write first and second. So what you tell it to do here is just write the two different variables that we set next to each other or one after the other. I'm gonna write or we'll copy and paste this press emphasis to continue again. So control C control V and then if I'm gonna write read line because we want the window to stay open. And then there you go you've done your third set of variables. And I'm gonna do compile that. And execute. We have five. The normal addition with the integers. Five point five. The two different decimal numbers. And A and B. The two chars. And so we just got two more variables to talk about now. So we're gonna write. Go back to. We're gonna press enter twice under this. I'm gonna go back to variables. I'm gonna write. String. Well, first we're going to write 
uh, x comma y colon and after the colon is whatever the variable is so it's going to be a string semicolon we go all the way to the next again and right uh, a string is a set of characters Right, write eg an example of a string would be hello and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to set these variables so we're going to write what did I use the variables? w and y so w colon equals I'm going to do two apostrophes because it's text I'm going to write hello all right, semicolon, and then a y colon equals two apostrophes semicolon, and now we're going to write world. So this is going to display without any spaces. So we could write if you put spaces at the end of like between the word you wrote and the apostrophe, it will display it as a space. So you just put space here. Then the next one, right? Right. And then X and Y. Close the bracket, semicolon. This is going to display hello world just like our first, first program. Then the next one, right? Read. And then we're going to copy and paste the present to continue then. Alright, control V, control Control C, Control V, and there you go. You've done the string variable. So we're going to compile this. So after X, I said W. Execute this. And there you go. You've got five the integers. Five point five is the real. A, B, the two different chars, and hello world, the strings. Then the last variable we're going to do is continue. It's going to be, wait, we're going to press enter into this way. And we're going to do boolean variable. So we're going to write um, to do R, comma, y colon equals oh sorry I mean colon and boolean semicolon we do two four slashes and a boolean variable is just true or false actually we could change the variables to t or f t comma f And then this we can just write t colon equals true semicolon. You could, you could do it like that, or you could just write in capitals, it doesn't really matter. And then f colon equals false semicolon. Actually, I'll do one in capitals and one in not in capitals, so you can see it doesn't matter which way you type it. I'm going to do right line, open bracket, T, close the bracket, semicolon, and then this one I'm going to write right line F, close the bracket, semicolon. So this should just write out true, and then the next one should write out false. I'm going to write right, and then I'm going to write, I'm going to do a read line, semicolon, so the window stays open, and then I'm going to go back to there, copy this, press enter to continue, control C, and control V under here, 
And there you go, that's the last set of variables that I'll be showing you. So then I'm going to write compile. I'm going to execute this. So you've got five integers, real 5.5, characters A and B, string, hello world, and true or false. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.